What's up guys, Sam Adams here and welcome to On The Topic Of, which is a series every single Friday here on my YouTube channel where I uh, talk about something that's been going on in the video game news spotlight in the past week and I give my thoughts and opinions on it and this week we're going to be talking about the new vote feature coming to the PlayStation 4 which is a long time coming and is an exclusive uh, offer I suppose you could say for PlayStation Plus subscribers. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So, PlayStation Plus launched on June 29th of 2010, and back then it really didn't have that many benefits. There were a couple of free games, you could do the online storage save thing, and of course you got the little cool PlayStation Plus logo beside your name, but other than that, there weren't that many positives to having PlayStation Plus. And then whenever the Vita came out, it got a little bit better because you got some free stuff for the Vita, that way you didn't have to pour all of your money into that piece of hardware, because at the time, it quite frankly wasn't doing that well. So in order to, uh, you know, get some free games, you could subscribe to PlayStation Plus, and you got games like, uh, I remember Wipeout HD or, uh, no, Wipeout 2048 and uh, Uncharted Golden Abyss were a couple of the games that were free on there, which are two amazing AAA games if you have a Vita and you have not played them, but uh, the Vita made it a little bit more valuable, and then of course it's required to play online with the PlayStation 4, so that pretty much boosted it up to Xbox Live level status, and that, uh, you know, extra source of income for the service uh, allowed Sony to kind of make it into the service that we have today, where you get two free games per console per month, so if you have a PlayStation Plus account and you have all three PlayStation uh, consoles, you can get two games for the Vita, two games for the PlayStation 3, and two games for the PlayStation 4, which is really actually a pretty good deal. Unfortunately, up until now, there has been no way for gamers to really have a say as to what games get offered to them. It's kind of just a, a luck of the draw if you get a good game that month. There have been some terrible months, and you can definitely tell in the rating on the uh, PlayStation blog where they normally announce what kind of games are going to be free that month for PlayStation Plus subscribers. But we don't have that problem anymore because a new vote feature has been announced for the PlayStation 4 exclusively, and I really hope that this comes over to the PlayStation Vita and the PlayStation 3. But for PlayStation Plus subscribers, there is now an option to vote for which of these three games that you want to see go free for the next month. And for the first promotion, it says on the blog.us.playstation.com, uh, the other games that don't really get picked to be free will have some kind of PlayStation Plus promotional discount so that even if you didn't get the game that you really wanted to get for free, you can still get it for a couple of bucks off, which I say is a pretty good deal. Now, the leaked screenshot had three games to vote for, and these were Zombie Vikings, Armello, and most notably Grow Home, which was Ubisoft's surprise kind of cult hit that came out at the end of last year, and no one even knew they were developing it, which is kind of surprising and awesome because Ubisoft can still make good games that take people by surprise and really give a good experience. Uh, but that's beside the point, topic for another video. Uh, the fact that, number one, Grow Home is coming to the PlayStation 4 at some point, and number two, the fact that you can vote for stuff was leaked, and I think that this is actually a pretty good way to do it because it's very simplistic, it's very minimalist, as you can see up there by the screenshot. You don't really have to put much thought into it, and you can change your vote. So if you know you see that a game got terrible ratings, like a uh, Zombie Vikings didn't turn out to be the game that people really hoped it would be, and it wasn't the uh, you know grand millions maker that the developers had hoped for, you can go back and change your vote to Grow Home or perhaps even Armello if you wanted to change it to that. It's just pretty awesome because there are so many different ways that you can use this service. It's just one more way to give the gamers a voice. Unfortunately, this new service just kind of leaves stuff to be desired on other platforms, I suppose. Obviously, the first thought is that I want to see this on the PlayStation Vita and the PlayStation 3. I definitely want to see Xbox Live directly copy and paste this from PlayStation and use it on their service because, quite frankly, the Xbox Live games with gold are very, very lacking when compared to the PlayStation Plus games that you get for free with that subscription. And I could even see boxes doing this, like Loot Crate, if you could vote for your favorite of three t-shirts to be included in the next month's box, or perhaps post or keychains or just one element of the box that you could vote on, that would be absolutely incredible and that's definitely a change that I could see coming. But uh, what it comes down to is that this is the first step for many improvements to these services because subscriptions are still fairly new. Maybe we could do this with Netflix, maybe we could do this with HBO Go, maybe we could do this with you know Amazon Prime. There are so many options that this is just one step into an entire new initiative that all of these companies can really take and just run with and see where the future takes them. So there you guys have it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, drop me a like down below and comment what you think about all of these new services and of course the PlayStation vote system. Are you going to be voting for stuff? What game would you vote for out of Zombie Vikings, Armello, or Grow Home? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to head over and check out some of my other videos. I upload new stuff like four or five days a week, so there's always something new on the channel when you drop by to check out some content. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this particular video. I'll talk to you soon. 
Peace.